The primaries are over on the Republican side, and for me, the results are disappointing. It seems like there's a lot of people who didn't want to choose the timeless principles that have guided us. It's as in Exodus 11, a lot of people chose quail when God really wanted them to have manna. Psalms 106.15 says that He gave them their request, but they also got leanness to their souls. The election results, the way they turned out, really is a call to arms. When you see a foundation crumbling, you don't look at trying to repaint the porch or fix the cracks in the walls. You go to the foundation. You look at the foundations. We start with Galatians 6.9. It says, weary not in well-doing. For in due season, you'll reap if you don't faith. So we hang in there. This is certainly not the first time in America that we've had a culture in conflict. Back in the 1830s and the 1840s, Congress was consistently and aggressively moving forth measures that violated the inalienable right to liberty for all individuals and all persons. John Quincy Adams got involved in Congress at that time, and Congress was overwhelmingly pro-slavery. He was pretty much almost a lone voice against slavery. For almost 17 years, he worked in Congress, many times standing completely alone, but he wouldn't give up and he wouldn't back down. When challenged as to why he would do that, his answer was very clear. He said, duty is ours, results are God's. I look at the election results and I remember three life lessons. The first life lesson is, nothing catches God by surprise. The second one is that God is not nearly so concerned with what happens to you as with how you respond to what happens to you. And the third one is that all things will work together for good for those who love God and are called according to His purpose. The timeless principles given us by God have not changed and they will work every time they are applied. Some have chosen to ignore these timeless principles, but we don't abandon or walk away from all that we've fought for. Rather, we've become more engaged. We look at electing people for local office, for city council and school boards. We look at electing people to county office. We can look at electing good people for state representative and for federal congress. We become more engaged and we get our neighbors engaged. We need to make sure that our neighbors are registered to vote and that they choose God-fearing leaders. And that above all, we teach ourselves and others to think and act biblically.